Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my Throwback 30 project pan. I am doing this in conjunction with the Fantastic Ladies. My cat is leaving all of a sudden. <laughs> she sat through the entirety of the last video I filmed, but now she has to run away. Um, oh yeah, uh, this, this, this project was created by Jessica Lee. I will link her down below. The idea of it is that in, because in the Fantastic Ladies, there are so many projects going on that it's impossible to do all of them. This is one that gives you a taste of 30 of them. Now, I do have two empties. Surprising, I know, but there are many. So it's nothing that crazy. For Skin is In Project Pan, just something that is skincare related, I grabbed the Dermalogica Special, Special Cleansing Gel. Just a little mini. It was up to there last time, and I literally finished it like the other night. It's blowing bubbles, but there's no more product in it. So that is one prompt officially down. And the other one is, what is it called? And the other one is turn and burn, which the idea is to throw in like samples, minis or whatever, things that you can go through quickly. And I decided that I'm going to actually keep replacing the item like in the actual project pan. So I finished the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer. So it was all the way up to there, but this only took like five uses, so. And I am putting in, it will not always be a primer, but this time it is, the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. So it's only like half full. That's just how full it came. I suspect this will also take about four to five uses. I don't foresee this lasting very long. Now, on to the few things that I've been using. I'm not gonna show everything. That I, because a lot of stuff that I have not used, I'm just showing stuff that has progress. For Fifty Shades of Pink, I have the Capari Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. This is a rollover from last year, and it is now there. To my not surprise, because I did not wear a lot of makeup in the past month, especially in like the last week where I wore none, uh, I haven't used up much of this. Its weight went from 85.7 to 82.0. Hopefully next month we have more progress. Next is my Seven Deadly Pans. I chose Avarice for gold for the gold packaging. I have the Koki Professional Brow Pencil in dark brown. I will insert my paper progress over here, but here is all that is left. I suspect this will be done by next month. So I have no worries about that. This was something I was already using when I put when I put this together, but it fit gold for Avarice fairly well, so I figured it'd be an easy use up right there. For Beauty A to Z, I chose for the Bare Minerals the 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. Uh, I've used it eight times. I've also used the Koki eight times. I've used it every time I've worn makeup in the past month, which it shows you worn a lot of makeup. It's a bad month guys, I don't know what to tell you. I will say about this though, the paddle broke off inside of the product. I don't know how to get it out. <laughs> I initially thought I might finish this this month, but even if I had worn makeup like double what I wore, I still don't think I have. I think there's a lot more product in here than I gave it credit for. Like I could see where I scraped the sides, but if I dip a brush in there, I can still get a lot of product. So I thought I'd be finished with this in a month or two, but this might be hanging around for a while. We'll see, we'll see. But I do think that I'll finish it by the end of the year. So I'm not worried about that at all, but it, it's a little more in there than I thought. For gotta pan them all for, I chose Charmander, something orange, red, or warm toned. And I chose the Hemp's Spun Sugar and Vanilla Bean Little Lotion Mini. I just used this as a hand cream. Here is where it has gotten down to, to my surprise, as it sat upside down and being used, it actually did start to move. So I will mark it as it moves, but I will continue to weigh it as well. Its current weight, it, it was 74.9 grams. Now it is 68 grams even, which cool. As a hand cream, I suspect that will take quite a while, even though I use it regularly, actually. It's just that you don't use a lot of it. If I end up using it as a body lotion at some point, it'll, it will probably go fairly quickly once I do that, but it, who knows if that'll even happen. I don't know. 
Next is Drop 10 Before Summer. Now, I don't have a new mark for this because it, I only used it twice, but I did use it, so I brought it out. It is the ColourPop All-Star Matte and Blur Primer, although now that I'm looking at it, there is a slight difference. Maybe it just had to settle a little better. I mean, the mark isn't, like, much. So. Two uses. Apparently it did move ever so slightly, which is good. Hopefully I get to use it a bit more. I kind of alternate it with whatever mini primer I'm using. So, like, in the next month I'll alternate it with this. But just, you know. And I'm also using the Milk Maker Hydro Grip Primer. A little mini of that so until that one and at least this one are done that one's probably only gonna get a couple of uses a month so I'm not in a hurry to finish it I just kind of want to finish it this year so got plenty of time for that next is I heart the 90s Thelma and Louise a duo product I picked two products from the same brand because I got them together they basically go together they are the Miami MD Dock Spark Corrector and the Age Defined Lift and Firm Cream. I am discovering some stuff about this. This, I like fine. I don't think it necessarily does a whole lot. I haven't seen a ton of difference on my face, but I like it fine. It's a nice little kind of more moisturizing, thicker uh, serum, basically. This, I don't like. It pills no matter what I do or what I pair it with. So I was going to use it day and night to kind of move it out fairly quickly. I can't use it during the day. I can only use it at night. But I mean, I've already hit the bottom just in a month of using it like 90% at night. So I'm not, I still think I'd probably get it done in the next month or two. I'm not that worried about it, but it's kind of a chore to use. <laughs> I went from 94.9 grams to 82.6. There's only 30 grams of product in here. So like I said, I don't foresee it lasting but another month or two. But I wish I could go through it faster because <laughs> I, I don't like it. Next is lip service. Now I only used this once because I, I was going to kind of keep going hard on it but I decided to give myself a break. It's the Chi Chi Cosmetics Viva La Diva lipstick. So it's the same as last month. I only used it once. I have no paper progress to speak of, but honestly, that's fine. Giving myself a month or maybe even two off, it'll be okay. I could still finish it by the end of the year. I'm not wearing this also as a cheap product right now like I was doing for a while because I'm really trying to finish the cream cheek in my, what is it? This is Pantasy Project Pan by October, so. At least until October 11th, I'm not using this that way. Unless I happen to finish that beforehand, which I think it's going to take me right to the wire. So I'm not betting on that. Next is Mean Girl Quotes. She doesn't even go here. Something that doesn't belong in your collection. And I d decided that would mean really need to get used up because it's hella old. This is the Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. So despite the fact that it smells heinous, it doesn't break me out or anything. I can totally wear it. I am wearing it today. It's a little dark. Like, this is not my shade. But I can make it work. Especially if I wear, like, higher neck tops. It, I, you don't get too much of a separation and obviousness. I've only worn it four times. So, like, the mark doesn't change. But I did have a slight weight change. It went from... 49.8 grams to 48.2, so almost two grams. Now, it, in theory, it has 30 grams of product in here, but this is pretty empty, so we'll see how long that lasts. Next is Pan of Dinosaurs. I chose the Ankylosaurus, something that protects you. I had the Hosk Curl Care 5-in-1 Leave-In Spray to detangle and protect curls, so... I don't wash my hair super often, so the progress on that is fairly small. If I wash my hair more, which now that it's not dyed on top of being on top of everything else, I totally can, but I just don't. I'm lazy about it. Yeah, hopefully I could pick up the pace on that a little bit. Because that's another thing I kind of want to finish by the end of the year. 
Next is the Golden Girls, and I chose Blanche, an item that makes you feel sexy, sexy packaging, a sexy name, technically, in my case. I chose the Buxom Powerful, Powerful Plump Lip Balm in Big O. I'll put up my little bit of paper progress here. This will probably be done next month, mostly just because, you know, there's not a lot of product to it. I've used it 21 times because it's been like my primary lip balm of around the house, before bed, that sort of thing. Now, my dog did decide to try to eat it one day. Thankfully, she was not successful. Basically, my dog decided to raid my nightstand. Like, my hand cream was flung across the room. I don't know how it got there. Uh, several things were knocked over, and that was straight up missing. I eventually found it in my sheets with bite marks on it. <laughs> I love my dog, I really do, but I'm gonna strangle her one day because she's gonna eat something she's not supposed to eat. <laughs> By the way, this is my uh, big tan chihuahua Beals that is not in here at the moment, but she's normally actually the one that's in here sitting with me on the couch, but she ran off after I filmed my last video, so yeah. So that is it. Like I said, I'm not working on a ton of stuff right now just because this just started. I have project pans that are coming up. Their finales are coming up, so they're kind of more on my radar. But for next month, I think I will have the Koki, the Buxom, and probably the Cover FX Primer done. I'm not sure if I will have anything else rolled in though. You never know. Something could always surprise me. If I finish this, the the other night cream that I have in here might roll in. Past that though. Oh no, wait. Um for budget beauty, the Shop Miss A setting spray will probably roll in here next. So and the Harry Potter and the Pan of Fire prompt, the I have the Skin and Co. Truffle Therapy Essential Face Toner. That will roll in. And probably the where is it? Nightmare on Panning Street, the Invisible Man, something that erases powder. I chose the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder Mini. That will probably be rolled in here, if not possibly done, depending on how much makeup I wear, because my powder I'm currently wearing is on its absolute last legs. So, so stuff will slowly roll in as time goes on. That's how these work. But you know, it gets more exciting as it goes on. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.